Time now for a look at your health. High anxiety. Could what you're feeling be more than just holiday stress? Anxiety disorders are one of the most common mental health issues in our country in both kids and adults, and many are being treated. And here to help us recognize the signs of anxiety and what to do about it is Dr. Mitchell Goldman. Thank you for being here. Good to be here. Well, let's separate um, the less serious everyday worries from what you consider a real anxiety disorder. How do you tell the difference? It's really easy. If you're really obsessed about germs and you're just washing your hands continuously, that's a more of an obsessive compulsive, mm -hmm. a high anxiety. You know, everyone's got to worry a little bit about germs, but not to the extreme. It's also if you have uh, people coming over for dinner, you can't just sit around, worry, and become frozen. Just deal with the present. Just get things done slowly and surely, and everything's going to work out out for the better. Well, what is the most common anxiety that people in America today are suffering from? Boy, there's so many. One is just a generalized anxiety attack, you mm -hmm. know, with finances, how are you going to pay for the bills, how are you going to deal with things that are happening every day. There's just so much stress it can actually get tip you over. Uh, what are symptoms that, that it is something serious? Are there physical ways that anxiety manifests itself? There are so many symptoms. One, of course, is the lack of sleep or inability to sleep, waking up with nightmares, over sweating, um, having changes in your bowel movements, excessive flushing. There's so many things that can happen. Tingling of your hands and, and, and feet. Usually what that means is you're sort of hyperventilating, you're getting way too anxious. So there's a lot of things that can occur. So really pay attention to what your body is trying to tell you. And you said one of the best remedies is, is to live in the now. Um, but you also mentioned during the commercial break, which I so appreciated, was that <laughs> during the holidays, there seems to be a lot more stress on the woman of the house than the man of the house. There really is. It's, even though guys are trying to assume our proper role, women still are the ones that plan the dinners, buy the presents, make sure the household is working, make sure the kids are at school, and again with flu season, not getting the flu. So, you know, as guys, we have to also help out as much as we possibly can, but I found that mostly the women are the ones that are getting really anxious. So what do we do about it? Are there, other than, you know, I know there's drugs, there's certainly prescriptions out there, but what kind of protocol do we follow if we really think that we're just you know, riddled with anxiety? You know, one of the best things is talking, and talking to your best friend or talking to a licensed family therapist or psychiatrist mm -hmm. or psychologist is really good just to get it off your chest, just to be able to, to vocalize the things that, that you're internalizing because you don't want to make it internal. Other things we usually talk about is exercise. Do something for you. Mm -hmm. it should, uh, there should be always be some me time. So exercising, go out for a run. And then one of the things we should avoid is try to avoid the caffeinated beverages. Try to avoid avoid those five-hour energy drinks because the more caffeine you get in you, the more anxious you're actually going to become. Yeah, and you raise those cortisol levels and they're hard to get down. And Absolutely. All right, some good reminders and very timely. So me time. And me time. And then it'll be a great time for everyone. There you go. Where do you squeeze that in, Lauren? Me time. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll be anxiously awaiting Dr. Goldman's <laughs> next visit. Thanks.